Hello, Shabbat Shalom. Hope that you are having a wonderful Friday afternoon leading into the fabulous relaxation of Shabbat on this fine Friday, heading into the fascinating and amazing Torah portion of Vayigash. It is the uh, third of the epic four-week discussion of Joseph and his brothers, and uh, it gets uh, very, very intriguing today, uh, this week, rather, in our story of Joseph and his brothers of Vayigash. Vayigash means to head over or to walk towards, and uh, Judah, uh, one of the brothers, walks over to Joseph. They, by the way, still don't know it's Joseph. The, the brothers are uh, in this chamber to get food, uh, food rations because there's a, a famine uh, and they're talking to who they think well, he is, the viceroy, the, uh, the vizier, if you will, the vice president of Egypt and asking for rations. They don't know it's Joseph. They don't know it's his brother. Fascinating. Um, and so at this point, Joseph has been playing, toying with them. And uh, it's at this point in the Torah, in Vaigash, where after Ju Judah sort of walks over to him, uh, that Joseph finally reveals to his brothers that it is actually Joseph. They think it's the, the vizier only. It is the vizier. But it's this incredible moment of this burst of emotion, which I would love for us to actually think about for a second. Think about what it would feel like in that moment to kind of be duped, also surprised to find out that your brother is not dead. The brother you left for dead in a pit is suddenly talking to you, and he is the second in command of Egypt. And so um, there's this great line. I, I want to I wanna read it to you, actually. Um, it says, Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father well? Asked about Jacob. And then the next verse, then Joseph said to his brothers, come forward towards me. Um, but j just, j just, just in that little window. So he says, I'm Joseph. Then he says, comes forward towards me. Right in the middle of the two, it says, um, but his brothers could not answer him. They could, they don't know what to say. And actually the text the Torah actually says they were so dumbfounded, they didn't know what to say. Hence, in the back of my screen, I have the word wow, because not just the power of the situation, but also the wow that must have, the, 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 face, the faces of the brothers, that as, as Joseph revealed himself and said, it's me, guys, it's me the one that you left in a pit to die, it's me, I'm alive, and I'm the vizier. So, wow, they're dumbfounded. They have nothing to say. They don't, they don't know if to be terrified, to be excited, to be um, overwhelmed with joy to see their brother. And we don't know. That's also the beauty of this, of this moment. So I ask you on this Shabbat to reflect on one of these moments. Now, I think, there, and we'll talk about this, but by the way, so tomorrow morning at 8.30 uh, in the morning, like always, we have our service and our tour study. We'll be discussing this nuance, but of what is Joseph thinking? Is he toying with them because he loves them or is he toying with them for like a revenge state? I want you to, but what I, I want us to think about on the Shabbat is, have you thought of a surprise? And I want to think that this is a good surprise. I want to think that Joseph wanted to surprise his brothers in a positive way. So I would love for you to think of and reflect on as you as we enter Shabbat. Is there a, a, a like an incredible surprise that you were just so overjoyed about? There was a huge surprise. You were dumbfounded, just like the text says, but for something fabulous, for something wonderful, for incredible news or for a great surprise. I want us to think about that as we enter uh, Shabbat together. So I hope it'll be a uh, a Shabbat of reflection, a Shabbat of relaxation, and a Shabbat where you can reflect on this incredible, amazing surprise in your life where you were like, oh, this is such a wonderful surprise. So I'll see you soon. Services at seven o'clock. Please don't forget to register. Um, can't wait to see you there. And then again, tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. And uh, Shabbat Shalom.